Hello, and welcome to New England Escapades. Today we went to the Roger Williams Park Zoo in Providence, Rhode Island. Here's what we learned on our adventure. Founded in 1872, the Roger Williams Park Zoo is the third oldest zoo in the United States. First displaying a number of small animals such as rabbits, guinea pigs, and raccoons, within a few decades the zoo began to add larger animals such as monkeys, bears, and big cats. In the 1930s, the addition of an elephant barn and a sea lion tank propelled the zoo's popularity even further. By the 1960s, however, the zoo was beginning to show signs of neglect. Local philanthropist Sophie Danforth saw this decline and was motivated to form the Rhode Island Zoological Society to address and combat this neglect. A gift shop and concession stands were added to the zoo to improve its income, and by 1978, the zoo was closed for a full two years. Fortunately, this closure was to perform a much-needed overhaul of the zoo. As a result of Danforth's efforts, Roger Williams Park Zoo was the first zoo in New England to be accredited by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. And since then, the zoo has consistently been expanding and adding new attractions. Today, the zoo is home to over 160 species of animals spread across several exhibits. First up is the barnyard, which features a full-on petting zoo populated by opportunistic goats. There are a number of other animals on display in the barn as well. Fabric of Africa features a menagerie of animals, such as African bush elephants, giraffes, and ostriches. Its location near the entrance plus its impressive collection of animals makes this a very popular exhibit. The Faces of the Rainforest building opened in 2018 and includes over a dozen species of animals. Giant river otters, piranhas, and blue-capped motmots all live here. Golden lion tamarins and two-toed sloths can be found here as well, but they were a bit camera shy on our visit. This is the only attraction at the zoo that currently requires masks for all visitors, and this is for the benefit of the primates who can contract COVID-19. Marco Polo's Adventure Trek features animals such as Bactrian camels, red pandas, and Sichuan takins. All of the animals in this exhibit are likely to have been seen by Marco Polo in his travels. Finally, World of Adaptations is home to animals from the Australasia region. Redneck wallabies, laughing kookaburras, and many other exotic critters can be found here. We would recommend allotting at least three hours for your visit to Roger Williams Park Zoo. There's so much to see and so much ground to cover that you'll definitely need it if you want to see everything. There are a number of eateries and concession stands available, so if you do need to take a break, you'll have plenty of opportunities to do so. Also worth noting is that the zoo has a number of sensory-friendly areas available. Roger Williams Park Zoo is located at 1000 Elmwood Avenue in Providence, Rhode Island. About an hour's drive from Boston and has ample free parking available. Currently, due to the pandemic, timed tickets must be purchased in advance. With so much to see and do, Roger Williams Park Zoo is a must-visit in the next time you're in the Providence area. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and keep on adventuring!